Hey guys, I'm your host Triple C. How's everyone doing today? Today I'm bringing you one of my favorite characters from Classified. It is the Alley Viper. Now, um, the Alley Viper is an uh, urban um, commando uh, for Cobra. His specialty is urban assault and warfare. He's a member of Cobra and a uh, sub team Battle Corps. Uh, his first comic appearance was Thunderclap. Now, there's in the anime uh, uh, cartoon, he first appeared in Operation Dragonfly Part 2. This was in the Dick series. This was the only one of two storylines that I actually enjoyed in the Dick series. I first appeared and spoke in the Operation Dragonfly Part 2. They he, they also spoke in part three and four and five, and this not counting it being a part part episode. It is only episode that they speak in. Uh, Alia Viper were introduced in the nineteen eighty nine series The Real American Hero Toy Line. Nineteen eighty nine. Appearance orange helmet with blue face mask and orange shirt and pants and blue urban camo. Blue right armband and black gloves and boots. That is really accessories. Orange and blue face shield with cobra emblem in front. Uh, back pack with engraved graphic hook. Uh, Grabber Hook can come out of this version because it's classified. Uh, right wheel and removable Grabber Hook. Complex black machine. Complex black machine gun with scope. T shaped stock and rear mount in magazine. Orange and blue shield with Cobra emblem in in handle. Uh, that is really all they say about him. Now, everything I know about him is from the uh, cartoon series, the Dick series. He was a friend of Scoop uh, at the beginning, uh, and Scoop was a traitor to, to G.I. Joe at the very beginning because he thought G.I. Joe killed his parents. But it was Cobra that did that. So, um, Scoop aligned his own with Cobra to get G.I. Joe, but when he found out uh, that uh, uh, Cobra was the one behind it, Scoop went back, uh, became a G.I. Joe member, and uh, Ali Viper and him were no longer friends because Ali Viper was loyal to Cobra. Not Cobra Commander, he was loyal to Suspensor. And uh, he has a lot of weapons. He has this machine gun, and like all of them, this magazine can come out. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, is it all known as a clip? Please let me know in the comments below. Now, this is one of my favorite weapons in Joe's. I love this gun. I know a lot of people don't like this gun. But it's one of my favorite guns in all of G.I. Joe. And uh, it has a clip too in the back. And it goes right in that hole there. Now he also has his backpack. And this has a gun, a grappling gun on it. And you can put a string on it so that, you know, you can use his grappling gun. He has this handgun, which is like a, a gun with the, I guess, a light on the bottom of it. And he has two knives right on his wrist. was right there and one on his chest.
right here. Ah. I'm sorry, I was going to get off here with. Uh, okay, and he has this orange faceplate, which, like the original one, is held on by these two tiny little pegs on the side of his head. Sorry about my dog. I, we just got a brand new big dog. It's, it's a sheep <laughs> I'll show him to you sometime. And then we got this awesome shield with him that has a Cobra logo on it. And I like this shield because it has these two um, straps on it, but they actually are able to rotate the shield so he can use it as a weapon. Now, uh, this, this alley viper is really cool. I really like the, the deco of him, orange and blue. When I was a kid, he was my main, one of my main Cobra agents, and I, I used to love this guy. <laughs> it was always him versus, uh, um, uh, him versus uh, Shockwave. I always had them two uh, battling each other, and I... Uh, uh, it was just because the way they were decked out. And then the mast, like I said, clipped onto those little tabs there. I looked like that on him, which is pretty cool. And on the inside of the shield, you got a radar or a sensor so you can see enemies behind walls or something. That's what I'm assuming that is. Some sort of HUD display. But yeah, he has a... Uh, his range is, uh, articulation is limited due to his vest, so he can't move forward that much. He can't move back that much. He can't move left and right. His head can move... Uh, left and right, uh, it's, it's got a ball joint, so it can get a great movement there. He does have the bad wire joint, but it, it's hindered by the vest. Uh, you can do a full 360 at the arms, full 360 at the biceps, you can uh, double joint elbows, wrist can swivel, and hinge. Uh, this one, same thing. We both can move in like this. Um, drop out hips and do the splits. Can swivel at the upper thigh, double jointed knees, tight joints. Uh, has a uh, upper boot swivel, and the uh, foot has a hinge and a swivel at the bottom of it, so you can get a great deal of motion out of these shows, and that I am thankful for. As I, everybody that uh, knows GI Joe's <laughs> needs the articulation to get that cool poses out of them, so. Do you guys like the Alley Viper? Is he one of your favorites? Is he not one of your favorites because of the color on him? Um, I know uh, a lot of people dislike uh, like the bright colors or like the uh, like like the don't like the weird characters, but I've always been a fan of the weirder the better in GI Joe <laughs> on the Cobra side. Uh, some of those GI Joes. I'm fine with being weird, like, uh, or uh, eccentric, like sci-fi, but uh, I I do want those jokes. I just I prefer the weird, the, you know, dreadnoughts. They're all weird and eccentric, and I like all those characters, and I like all the weird soldiers that they make for Cobra. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys have been enjoying my content. And I'll see you in the next video. Um, 
remember to like, subscribe, and share, and uh, comment below. Let me know uh, what's your favorite version of the, the, the uh, Alley Vapor, Night Vapor, or I'm hoping we get the Night Vapor eventually, because that, that was my favorite version of this uh, character. Because we deco, I mean. There's a, bu a bunch of them. There's a Jungle Viper, there's a Heat Viper, um, but there's a ton of Vipers out there. <laughs> Uh, and we only scratch the stuff with, with classified, and I'm sure we get loads of them. Um, so thank you for watching. Have a great day, and see you next video. Bye, guys.